we had a little, we went a little live this evening. Uh, just seemed like the right time, the right environment. Lights were on, it was nice and cool, and we got a lot of good work done. And uh, I think the guys had fun. The tempo picked up, the energy picked up, and it just felt like it was something that we needed to do. And uh, it went well. So I think it was really good for our team at this point in time to do this. So it was a good way to end the, end the week. Good Sunday night, quick little scrimmage. When did they know they were going live? Um, this afternoon, I told them this afternoon. You know, I just coming off this morning, I just felt like we needed to do something, to just pick it up again. You know, we've had 19 practices, and it just, you know, it just kind of gets a little dull right at this time. You're not really into game week yet, and you're kind of in camp mode. And it seemed like the perfect night to do it. The weather's perfect, and you know, anytime the lights come on, it, you know, the energy level comes up a little bit. So and we didn't go that long. You know, but we just wanted to get some some live stuff in. I think they loved it. So. Could you get a feel that the offense got into the had a rhythm going to it at all? Or? Well, I would, Chris. You know, I try to watch the whole practice, but my feeling is that the offense, especially the offensive line, stepped up tonight and did a really good job. I mean, there was still some pressure, um, but it seemed a lot better to me than it has. And obviously, it felt that way to you too, or you wouldn't ask the question. So, yes, yes. I was I was impressed with where our offense played. Did you notice an improved confidence in Brett since naming him the starter? Yeah, and I think it showed tonight. Yeah, he, he was calm and made some good throws and good decisions. And even when he made a you know a not a very good throw there, he came back. So that that's kind of how Brett has been really since the spring. Is when he has a, a a tough play, he follows it with a a good play. You know, and you like that mindset in a quarterback, just being able to erase what just happened and go to the next thing. The worry with live tackling was health. Uh, it looked like everybody came out healthy. It's all good? Yes. I mean, right now, yeah. that's what it looks like. Um, and like I said, we limited it. We didn't go for a long time, and the weather was perfect for it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, these guys know how to how to play hard and tackle and still take care of each other. You know, you're not going to see cheap shots. You're not going to see a lot of guys going for legs. You know, they stay high, and that's a good thing. Who are some under-the-radar players that you think fans should look out for? Oh, boy, that's a tough question for me to answer. Uh, I'll give you two names that I gave these guys the other day up at San Bernardino, Ben Wysocki and Ryan Hoffmeister. Manfro uh, looked like he was kick return and punt return. Is he, uh, is he there now? Is he your guy there? Not yet. Probably a little more locked in at kick returner than punt returner. I think we're still trying to find our guy as a punt returner. We'll typically have two guys back on kickoff return, and I would say that right now Steven's the leader in the club. You see that catch? The leader in the clubhouse. So uh, he's a good player. He popped that first one. We were going live on those kicks. Yeah. You know, I was holding my breath a little on those. What are the chances Roosevelt Davis gets in the rotation? Well, after some of the moves we put on guys tonight, I would say that his chances really increased. He's an explosive player. He does some good things, and he's tough, and he's out here every day fighting his tail off. I really like Rosie. There's another name for you, Roosevelt Davis, number 22. Could he walk in and start at San Diego State? <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke, sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, going around. Looking forward to Rice, what are you most concerned about and most excited about, aside from obviously playing? Well, yeah, I'm excited about playing, seeing our team, you know, in a competitive environment against somebody else see how we handle being on the road for the first time in an unfamiliar environment. Uh, I'm anxious to see, you know, how we react to that situation, really. I, I don't think I, there's one particular part of our team that I'm concerned about. It's just, are we going to react the way I think we're going to react? Coach, talk a little bit about Anthony Barr. You kind of challenged him at media day. and. Now he looks like he's running with the ones. Yeah. Talk a little bit about how he's done and, and how he's progressed. You know, he uh, for a guy that hasn't played much linebacker, he's done a really good job, and he's done it one-handed. He's had that club on his on his hand really, I think, since what day two or three. Yeah. You know, and uh, but he's just a explosive, powerful, long athlete who can bend and explode on people, and uh, it's fun to watch him get better. I think the thing that's that's uh, most exciting about Anthony is moving forward is one thing, you know, and if you're an athlete and he was a running back, you know how to move forward and hit people. 
but transitioning into coverage and moving backwards and, and finding people in zones and, and relating to, to people in coverage, that's hard to do if you haven't done it a lot. And he hasn't done it a lot, and yet he's doing a nice job of it. Players have adjusted to both offensive and defensive schemes since, you know, the obviously the freshmen mm -hmm. don't know anything yeah. differently. But I think, uh, I think they have. Yeah, I mean, we're still, you know, we're still developing, obviously, both sides of the ball and even in the kicking game because everything is brand new. But I think they're adjusting well. Um, we're not a finely honed machine by any stretch of the imagination, but we're working that way. And I think they enjoy the schemes. You know, they're aggressive schemes, and, uh, you know, we try to play at a high tempo and attack, and I think they like, players enjoy that. Are they asking a lot of questions? Oh, yeah, yeah. And if they're not, you know, we... we uh, we're uh, probably not giving them enough, you know. We need to keep them stimulated. So. Brandon Will is going to be a guy that goes from nose to end. I mean, we saw him play a little end today. I think that Brandon and uh, Donovan are both guys that can do that. They can move both to the nose and to the defensive end, and then they play the defensive tackle on third down. Um, and once again, you know, it's like with those DBs, you want to have some position flexibility. You know, because you want your best players on the team, on the field. So if we can rotate those guys through and play them with someone in and someone knows, it's good for us. All right. Thank you.